Happy Monday ARC players and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be talking about the next official creature which is coming to ARC Survival Ascended. We don't have an official date for it but pretty much you can play with it already. It's uh, obviously part of the ARC editions um, and uh, it's actually in the game files already and I think you can spawn it in but I'm not too sure. I saw there was a video from GP, Tia, a couple of the other content creators out there um, that actually uh, broke the news in the first place that this was actually already kind of snuck into the game um, but we're going to be trying out a version of it that's already available when wildcard bring this officially to like official servers and stuff they may change some of its um you know some of its abilities but it really depends it, it, it's more more when there's like a carnivore that comes into the game they have to make sure the balancing is right and any of the abilities aren't too overpowered which is obviously fair because when it comes to official servers they don't want anything to break the game um but if you guys do enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like and subscribe and thank you very much to everyone that explained this to me because in my community crunch video on friday night we talked about um this and i for some reason i couldn't remember like what this i just couldn't work this out um but anyway so this was the community crunch that came out on friday we'll be hopping into the gameplay after this it was community crunch 429 they gave us like spotlights and stuff but they said welcome to another edition of the community crunch spooky season has arrived and we're fueled by pumpkin spice lattes as we as we're heads down on fear ascended event content we're most likely going to be getting the fear evolved update news this friday um because the fear evolved uh, i keep you know what i need to get used to saying ascended i'm so used to saying evolved the fear ascended up, um, update should be i've got i've estimated that it's going to be friday the 18th um because they usually do it for two weeks and then obviously they've got the extra life event on the 2nd of november so i think it could be friday the 18th of um uh, friday the 18th of october until november the 1st um, alongside development for Extinction, which again is coming on December 16th, bug fixes and performance enhancements, the performance enhancements being um, the enhancement for the game, but also the Unreal Engine 5.4 update is meant to come between October 15th and November 15th. Given the hustle behind the scenes, this, crunch, this week's crunch is fairly light, but keep your eyes peeled for upcoming news and reveals this month. Along with the imminent debut of Ark's greatest sushi chef, he's ready to roll with the best of them. And... I don't know why I couldn't understand this. I literally made no sense to me. I was like, what are they going on about? And then I realized it was actually the announcement of the Archelon, which is the brand new sea creature to come to Ark. It's the next one as part of the Ark editions that's going to be integrated into the main version of the game. As I said to you guys, I'm going to show you off some gameplay, hop in and have some fun, try out some of its abilities so you kind of can have, have an understanding of what to expect when it comes to the game, if you haven't played with it already, because um, it was literally one of the creatures that I, I, I'm telling you, I've literally been playing with this Archelon creature ever since the Ark Survival Evolved days. It's been around for such a long time, but it now makes its grand entrance to Ark very, very soon. Um, so if I if, if I were to work out how I think these next couple of so we've been told by Dolly that these next couple of crunches are going to be massive news. So um, we're going to have probably next week will be fit. Well, this week will be Fear Ascended. Maybe with the Archelon announcement, um, we'll also be getting the information on the extra life event which i talked about in yesterday's video which i can't wait for the 20, 24 hour stream um and then alongside that there'll be like reveals that come out after extra life on the next new map and stuff so looking forward to it let's hop into the gameplay now guys and test out the brand new archelon which will be coming very soon so here we are guys in game and as you'll see when we turn around we have spawned in an archelon which is what I like the most about it is, as you can see, it literally resembles a turtle, like a giant prehistoric turtle, really, really well. Um, and as you can see, we'll run up to it and kind of show you some information about what it's going to be like, how you can tame it, and also some of the other like kind of cool abilities that it's got. So um, what you'll be able to see as time goes on is that your Archelon will actually build up algae on its back, which you can actually claim from it once you've tamed it. Um, but let's just see this is a wild one how it enters the water there and you know it's kind of swimming and by the way the saddle for this thing is actually really really cool so as you can see it enters the water and this is obviously quite a shallow bit but it moves around pretty nice um i think the two so can actually grab this creature um and it only kind of has one basic attack um it's not really its use in the game isn't really for like attack and combat but 
is still very, very useful with the algae. Obviously, it likes to eat, um, yeah, you know, it's more like a biotoxin type creature, but it is a passive tame. Um, so as you come behind it, what you'll see is it will say, uh, obviously, put food in the last slot to tame, as always, with a passive tame. And uh, what we're going to do for the video purposes is we are going to force tame it um, just so we can show you it. And we also are going to get the saddle. And I can give you guys a little bit of an understanding about how the saddle works because it looks really cool. So we're going to freeze it here and we are going to force tame um, our Archelong right here. And as you can see, we now have a tamed Archelong. Now, of course, once you, um, uh, once you force tame it, if you don't tame it properly, you will have the invisible saddle as you always do in Ark. Very, moves very slow on land, but I'll show you guys the difference of what it's like when you actually move it um, in the water and what the speed's like. But we're gonna go and grab the saddle and I will show you now, um, if we go over to the engrams and we type in Archelon saddle, it's level 45. So it's not too bad for levels. It says a saddle for your Archelon provides oxygen to nearby survivors and it can seat four additional uh, passengers. And as you can see, it requires 44 engrams. It can be crafted at a smithy. It costs 600 fiber, 200 metal, 850 hide and 250 wood. So it's quite an expensive saddle, but you'll understand why that's the case uh, when we actually make ourselves one of these saddles. So we're going to head on now to craft the saddle. Um, so we've made one here and we'll be able to go and put it on our arc along and you guys can see how amazing this thing looked Look at the size of this saddle when we actually place it on the arc along. It's got as it's as I said it provides oxygen It can fit four different survivors on the back too, which is absolutely incredible and We are being attacked. So let's see. I mean that just did crazy damage to a, a dilo there um, <laughs> But this and I think this is level 42 um, as you can see, we're on the saddle now. You can't equip any weapons while you're riding this thing. And I do not recommend doing what I'm doing right now. As we're trying to get over to the bigger ocean, I do not recommend you wanting to get across land with this thing because it's not going to be very successful when doing so. But we are going to head into the water now and I will show you guys what this is like as, um, uh, as you know, it, it, it's a bit of a tank as well. So if we quickly, before we head into the water, um, let's quickly have a little look at its stats. So this was level 69. It's got 4,789 health, decent, nearly 2,000 stamina. Its food is 7,700. The weight's 1,200 and the melee damage and balance and torp is pretty high. So it will take quite a long time to actually eat up and tame. But once you've got one of these, it's going to provide some real big resources to you and your tribe, especially if you want to go on adventures under the water as a, as a, as a group. Um, you know, like you don't have to go alone with this creature, which is one of the new things that I've liked about um, some of the new additions to Ark. You know, having being able to bring more of the survivors with you. So as we enter the water, as you'll see, it then glides once you enter the water. Now, it won't be the fastest, but it's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. Um, and this thing glides across the water. And I like how you can move into all the different seats as well. I really like how you can like then also stand on this thing when you're in the water too. So it provides you protection there. Things will attack. Um, but I think because it's quite a big creature, it's okay. So look, um, obviously you can enable public seating on it too. Um, and then you can, as you can see here, it says collect algae. Now there's zero to collect, um, but it says it's going to take 57 minutes and 47 seconds until the algae will be fully grown on this creature. And once it's ready, you can collect it. Um, and look, there's passenger seats here too, which we can then obviously, we can board the left seat if we really wanted to. And as you can see, that's what it's like. And then you can get straight off of it. And then if you can ride it if you want to. So really, really, really cool creature. As I said, it's got like a simple like, bite. Um, that, that's its main kind of ability. Um, and we can dive underwater by holding C. And it, it moves pretty quickly around the water. And I feel like this is really good when you're trying to collect different resources. And, you know, you're not having, as, a, as I, I mentioned this, you're not having to, you know, do this on your own. And pr it provides oxygen. I mean, I'm in creative mode, so it won't really make much of a difference. Um, but obviously, it's good for transport. Get all your tribe on there. And you won't have to worry about the scuba gear. Because if I am correct, um, the scuba gear is like high, high levels, isn't it? Um, you know, it always has been in ARC. So, you know, 81 is, is the level. Whereas if you get yourself... So look, we're being attacked by a Megalodon. So if we hop off and let's see how the battle goes here. 
we'll, we'll kind of see what this will give you an understanding of how it fights in megalodon in the game but as i said um uh, as I said, like, you know, it, it gives you that free oxygen. So this is a really, really, really useful tame. What's even going on here? The Megalodon has seen stuff. What, what's going on? Oh, there you go. The Archelon starts attacking again. Um, and is the itch, it looks like the Itchy is going to die here because it's taking a lot of the damage. But it tends to, they seem to just be flying. Let's go under the water and sort of see this. The Megalodon just seems to be going round and round in circles. So we're going to hop on now and we're going to deal with the Megalodon ourselves and sort of see type of damage it can do so it's doing like 209 per hit by the way i haven't used any levels into it and it has just completely destroyed the megalodon so you are going to be able to tank with this thing quite a lot you know you, it is like having your own mobile base and i really like the way that we're lying there holding on to the uh holding on to the handles um and it is going to be one of those types of creatures that i would avoid moving on land with it like I would, I would sort of, if you want to go like base to base, I recommend always taking like water travel and then obviously parking it up at your base if you've got some form of harbour or something. And it will just get you around in many of the maps pretty easily. And that's why I am I'm really think this is going to be a great addition to the game. Obviously a nice easy way to get algae. Um, obviously prefers kibble like as always. And again, a little bit of frame rate is moving on. But it's a very smooth creature. The way it turns as well, you can literally just move the mouse. Uh, obviously on Xbox or PS, PS5 it will be different. But really easy and smooth to walk along. And you'll have things chasing you. But to be honest, you could just outpace it pretty easily and then when you've actually got your base i mean look at the megalodons they're coming up but you can just swerve a megalodon pretty easy it'll follow you from behind a couple of megalodons that are trying to sort of catch on to us there but you can just as i said so easy and smooth they'll never sort of catch up with you um and uh, you'll never have to worry about that and then you can make your safe passage onto the next island that you're at and I have to say, this is one cool creature. It, it really, really is. And I think it's going to be an awesome thing for Ark. I mean, look at the Megalodons. The Itchies. Look, there's three of them following behind. But we had no problems whatsoever. And as I said, it gives you free oxygen. Um, let's see now as well if we head on. Um, obviously picked up all of that stuff. Um, so we can collect. this. So there's zero, zero algae to collect at the moment. But over time, as I said, it will just slowly start to build up algae. And as you see... Um, it will start to pick it. You'll see how it gets greener as time goes on, which is like the algae that's built over its body. And yeah, just a fantastic newer creature. And I really can't wait to see this in the game. Also, from if I'm correct, one of the biggest things I wanted to mention is you can get the... Um, so with the algae sushi, um, what you'll see here is it says incredibly nutritious sushi that any dino will love use this on a taming uh, on taming dino to boost some lost taming effectiveness but where did the rice come from it does not work on passive tames or it will break effectiveness so for the crafting requirements for the algae sushi it's level 65 it requires 20 archelon algae 10 long grass three raw prime fish meat and one white coloring and then you can make yourself the algae sushi so overall very useful utility utility dino in the um or creature in the world of arc survival ascended and i really can't wait to see this i get added in i reckon it'll be added in this month but i'll let you guys know as when it officially goes live much love to you all thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video